I'm gonna say it's his. It's oh, bitch, you better not. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're watching some more Outlander Red Season 6, Episode 6. This one is titled The World Turned Upside Down. Now, look, title like that kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety. Because, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Um, the revolution, maybe? It's gonna start? That'd be my guess uh because ugh, i'm not sure i think they said like they still had a few years is that it i guess it's still like it started slowly and then it was just like um so yeah let's just jump right in look around at your breath and give today men are all knowing all powerful one of noble birth. The God does not require brilliance or power or nobility. What is weak to confound the mighty. And what is low in the world to bring to nothing. Things that are. And I can stop by the cabin later and look in on them. And maybe Lizzie and Malva want to come along for the walk. I'm sure Malva will. She's been glued to your side ever since you started letting her help as your apprentice. Oh, she's doing very nicely, actually. Although I do miss Marsley. I'm small. I think mm. we'll do well in the <laughs> You love them. You want to keep them near. Me too. Are you sure that? <laughs> uh, they're happy. What the hell? All right. <laughs> Leave the door open. We need as much light and air in here as possible. Are you dead? Oh my god. Yes, yes. The baby. I recognize them. Mistress Claire. What happened? It's the bloody flux. The water, Mistress. It came on so quickly. Mistress. Help me. Right. No, 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 don't go. <laughs> Malva's like, yes! One, two, three! More bodies! Did she do something to them? It's really sad, actually. She wouldn't let her child go, though. Uh, the baby's dead. Hopefully, we can get ahead of this before it spreads any further. Thank you, Malva. You've been a great help. But, Mistress Fraser, I'm coming with you. It's a very contagious disease. I'm coming with you. Fine. We'll do what we can, but remember, there is no cure. I'm gonna slept for days and hardly pause for food. Don't let me take you home. I'm all right. I wonder where this thing even is. You don't want to know. Oh, no. she's Mom. sick. Oh, she's burning up. Mother, it's late. Let's leave these good so? folks now. I won't leave her. She'd be more comfortable in her own bed. See, like moments like this, I'm just like, ah, because I feel like she genuinely likes Claire because Claire treats her as an equal and just like is teaching her things and you know Claire's just so freaking amazing and she doesn't have a mother so maybe she sees her as a mother figure so that kind of warms my heart but then she's cutting people's fingers you can't do both pick one okay so to say your wife's a witch, sir. You don't think so, do you? Oh no, sir. Ever. She knows witchcraft. She wished nothing but to be like her. She is so kind and lovely. And so knowledgeable. I want to learn all she can teach me. Oh, 
Okay, so I wasn't, I'm not crazy. She's kind of hitting on him. Hmm. What? What the fuck is that? Malvan and Mrs. Buck cut him off the day before yesterday. Why? They thought it's what you do for someone with a terrible fever. What? Bree and I weren't here or we wouldn't have let them. Of course, Bree was furious with them. They, they truly thought they were helping to save your life. They cut off her hair? I'll fetch Jamie. It's just hair, right? Like, Jamie won't care. I just... It's... <laughs> Sickness, it's still... No, Mind stop. your own hair. Nothing could ever make you less beautiful. Yeah, that's the... Like, that's the thing. I'm not saying that. Like, oh my god. It's such a shame. It's just like... The audacity. Look, I wake up... I'm, I've been sick. I wake up, someone cut my hair. I'm... I'm losing my shit. I'm... I'm cutting their hair in their sleep. Like he said... Thank you, Roger, for saying it. Nothing can make you less beautiful. She's one of the most gorgeous women ever. But Malva? Girl? Go to hell. <laughs> Am I tripping? Am I, like, overreacting over, over that? But I think it's such, like, the audacity. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna stop. Neither can your new grandchild. Oh, she said, ah! When I waited a while to tell you, I wanted to make sure it was real. What a nice I news. I you were sorted out. You look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's gonna rock it. Like, we already know she's gonna rock it. It's just like, did she have to rock it? I suppose you'd think of wearing a cap. Or maybe to it cruise out a bit. <laughs> Other people's faces as they catch sight of me. I guess short hair on a woman wasn't like. You're very beautiful. Yes. Yes, she is. I love you. And it will grow back, won't it? So it will. Mm. I'd be tell me. fucking furious, man. I saw storm clouds in my heart and a snake and it was in this house. I can promise you, Sasnik, any snake crosses our threshold or loses head Malva. or reaches a staircase. Malva's the snake. You're well now. Kitty. So, you keep the bed warm for me. Yep. Don't tell anyone where I've gone. Mm. He's okay. Mrs. Fraser. What in the name of God? Shut up. Oh, that. If I could take a sample of yours to look at under the microscope, well then I'd know without a doubt whether... What kind of sample? But it would be a, a small measure of, um, some fecal matter. Oh! Good lord, woman. How dare you ask such a thing? It's for medical purposes. Come outside. We'll see you home. Come on, just poop in the damn thing. How dare you, woman! You're short here. It's also very arousing. <laughs> Do you really think so? Aye. It is but one of the things that draws me to you. <laughs> what are the others? You're brave. You're always bolder than was safe. <laughs> and now you're as fierce as a badger, proud as Lucifer. <laughs> so what is my most endearing trait? You think I'm funny? <laughs> <I do. laughs> Really? Above all the creatures on earth, they're faithful. So are you. It's quite a good thing, isn't it? Well, 
there she is. We'll need to speak with you. Privately. Whatever you have Ian. to say, my wife can hear it as well. If you so choose. My daughter finds herself with child. Okay. She gonna say it's his? So, oh, bitch, you better not. What is it? I can help you with that. Will you not tell me then, Mas? I promise you. You will not suffer for it. Oh, sir. How can you say that to me when you know the truth as well as I do? something to drink. I came and touched him, put my hand on his shoulder only to comfort him. But he turned then and put his arms around me all of a sudden and grasped me to him. And then he... He took me. He took me, you I fucking so wish. Oh my God. Today was his knee. Yes, again, other side. Your wife believes me. My wife has better sense. See the scars on your naked body. I can describe them. There are a number of people who have seen my back, including you, Tom. And I haven't slept with them either. What of the crescent mark across your ribs? With a great ugly one high on your leg on the inside? Sure, she's wrong. The fuck do you know that? Throw your breaks and give us a look then. And we'll draw up a contract. Maintenance for her and the bed. Uh -uh. Formal acknowledgement of the child's rights as one of your heirs. No! I leave my house. <laughs> the Oscar fucking goes to. Oh my god. Did something happen at all? Like, did he reject her? I'd like nothing more than to give you your head in your hands. I will not apologize for something I have not done. Thank you. If I did, you only doubt me more. Well, you don't seem to have a lot of faith of my faith in you. Creel. Do I have something to tell you? What? It feels like a punch to the gut. Sorry. What? You said you wouldn't say you were sorry unless you... you have done something you were sorry for. What? What? Good, Good way to... Oh, your wife is playing with someone else. Matter the circumstances. What? You be gone. Only once. I was gone. Oh. Christ. Mary? The last thing I want to do is upset you, Sassanach. When you were gone, I gone where? Sound as though it was Mary McNabb. Oh. Who the hell is Mary McNabb? Okay. Sasanak. She's the mother to Rabbi. It's she, okay. Like. She stayed. It was probably gonna be the last I time. I tried to send her away, but. You had sex. Or so you it, thought. She said she'd seen you, maybe, Claire. She gave me tenderness. Before prison. Oh, I gave her the same. Sure, you gave her tenderness. I know you did. Do you believe me about Melba? Yes. Yes. Not Thank you. because of you and me. And because if it had have happened, I know you would never have turned your back on a child of your own blood. That's also no very true. You came into the world. Hey, yo, bitch! I challenge you to, take it back. to a duel. Just want to talk? I think you're a young woman who made a mistake. 
it wasn't with my husband. Perhaps it was he who made the mistake and now I'm carrying the blame for it. No. No, no, I believe him. No, I see in you this clever young woman, full of curiosity and enthusiasm. And I was proud to be your teacher. <laughs> Not too late, Malva. You can still tell the truth. <laughs> to be <all> right. <laughs> Get away from her. She says you make potions to bring people back from the dead. Mm. It's true. So what? Oh my god! She's a witch. We know what happens to witches, don't we, Lava? Aye. Aye. We do. We do. She was finally, Stay like, away. snapping from out of family. it. Ian, it's impossible that Jamie would be the father of Malva's child. You do understand that, don't you? I, I do, Auntie. Because it's mine. But it could be mine. It was only once. She is so beautiful. And she talked to me. Only once is all she it takes, shy man. Like the other lasses. I'll be a husband and a father. I'll do it for the bairn's sake. We don't want her in the I family, though. Baby. She kind of said there. that he saw her with Obadiah Henderson. Okay, so he said that. He talked about it. There been others. Uh huh. Two months later. Scholar he may be, but then I think Roger Mack realized no worthwhile business is conducted in a public house. After all she'd done for this community. I have so little faith. But still, I kept believing that this too shall pass. Someday, people will have forgotten. That was a fun dream. the hell was this episode? What the hell? As I was gonna say, who did this? It, it, it can't have been Claire, right? Because she was dreaming. She was unconscious. It's like she woke up and then she was, you know, 
Malva was there. And it's not like impossible that Malva found her way like in. But like then she woke up again. So I was just like that's a dream. But she had like a, a knife thing. No, I'm, I'm just going to go in the direction that it wasn't Claire. Uh, maybe Anderson, Henderson, because he he knew that, like, the kid was his. And uh, pff, I, don't fucking know. I did not expect that to happen. And the baby was, like, ready to pop. She didn't have a belly. Like, she didn't have a big belly when we saw her coming to see Claire like her belly was quite little and also like two months two months passed and like the baby was almost like fully ready looked like it all of that is is weird it's weird um so much happened my mind is like racing it's going so fast right now because Malva is dead Someone slit her throat and left her for dead. And I feel like she was coming to see Claire. And if the baby was that far along, maybe she had like contractions and she felt like she was going to give birth. So she was coming to see Claire. But then someone like intercepted her or like heard her knocking at the door and someone took care of her, obviously. That is insane. Just her blaming the whole like pregnancy on Jamie that was very bold of her. I just love that Claire and Jamie did not let themselves, like, be, you know, affected. Well, of course they were affected, but I mean, it didn't come between them. And even Claire told her, like, we've been through the ringer, girl, okay? Like, this is not gonna come between us. And, of course, like, anyone accuses your husband of, like, being the father of their child. When you've been sick and you saw some stuff when you were sick... Like, of course, she, she might have been like, oh my god, like, did this really happen? Like, you you think you know that person, but then people always surprise you. So, I don't know, like, maybe she, a part of her was just like, this can't be true, but like, what if it is? You know? So, I'm just glad that it was, like, quickly, like, no, girl, it's not even a possibility. And uh, it could be Ian's, it could have been Ian's, but I don't think the baby's fine like I think the baby was dead that's insane and what if the Christie's were in on it you know it's just crazy because I just realized now that while I was saying that oh while Claire was sick and da 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 I was just like yeah Claire was sick this episode like so much happened that it's like it was totally like two different episodes Claire being sick and then everything that happened after like the pregnancy and I saw it coming like when she was you know, talking to Jamie, and she was just like, oh, yeah, you look like, like you're a good dude, or whatever, da, 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 I was just like, girl, like, and then Jamie coming clean about Mary, it was like, like so sweet, like, she, I, I just knew that she wouldn't be upset about that, like, of course, she was like, you could have told me, I wouldn't have, like, it's not a big deal, but still, it was sweet, but he, it did, like, give me a, a little heart attack there, but, what are people going to think? Malva gets her throat slit right outside her house. And then they're not going to understand that she took out the baby. They're going to be like, why did you take out the baby? Oh man, things are not good right now. Things are not going to get better. I am scared. I am officially scared. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. I'm just like, my jaw is on the floor right now. And I... I'm just so excited for next episode. I feel like there's there's still so much, you know. I haven't been, like, really talking about, you know, Claire uh, doing the thing and, like, putting herself to sleep. And I know that it's been mentioned in comments that, that it's, like, super out of character for Claire to be doing. But, you know what? I don't think I agree with that because, um, she's never been in a situation like that. And I know that she usually, like, like you know, she's strong and, like, she faces her uh, stuff head on. And she's not the type to, like, you know, like, take the easy route. But she's been through so much. 
And there's still so much shit happening that if she's overwhelmed and she hears voices, she sees things, like, she's the healer. If she can't think of anything to do except for doing that and, like, just, like, you know, putting, shoving the feelings down and not having hallucinations or just, like, pushing them away temporarily. I know that it's not the best thing to be doing. I'm not saying like, yeah, Claire, you go. I'm just saying that that I understand that if she's overwhelmed and in the moment she's like having a panic attack kind of, like what can she do? You know, breathing into a bag is not gonna do it for her, I feel like. So yeah, it's not the best thing, but for now it keeps the feelings and like the bad memories away like of course at some point she's gonna have to deal with that and it'll be in her time but like it I'm not upset about it I'm not like oh my god I can't believe they're doing that or like I can't believe she's doing that like I, I kind of get it she's traumatized and she's like trying to just like stay above water kind of yeah that's my take on that but we'll see where it goes we'll, we'll see like how she deals with that and what happens you know But this episode was amazing. Like, it felt like it was... Ugh, there was so much. There was so much. So here's to the... Here's to next week. We're gonna bang the last two episodes for real this time. Like, for realsies. I hope you guys will be ready for that. Um, I sure will be. I'll be like... You know? So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next week for the last two episodes. So... Thank you so much for watching.